And welcome back to whatever Hello. plays whatever. So I have a friend who really freaking loves Fallout. Like she's obsessed with Fallout, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you you know her. It's Uru. It's Uru. Oh yeah. Um, and the, so a couple days ago, she or a couple weeks ago rather, um, she started texting me. She used to hate My Little Pony. Yeah. Um, and then she just randomly started watching it one day. She was like, "Oh my God, what have you done? I like this show now." <laughs> wait, like, oh, wait, Nexus, I'm confused. Welcome to the herd. I thought okay. I tried all of these paths. But apparently all of them are wrong. Well, then there's... You have to backtrack a lot. A lot! Like, how much a lot? Like, back to the original turn that took you to those... That fork in the, in the path? Oh, this sign was so deceptive! Are you kidding me? I saw the sign at the end of this path. <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, this friend of mine really likes, um, Fallout, and she used to not like My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, she started to like it, and was, like, resentful of me for it, because she's like, I used to hate the show, and now I like it, what's wrong with me, uh, <laughs> and, right, right? So the other day, I sent, I, I, or this morning, I sent her a link saying, hey, so you like Fallout. And you kind of like ponies. I present to you the most renowned fan fiction in the entire Brony community, Fallout Equestria. Oh god. Um, which is, as you can imagine, a version of Fallout including ponies. Um, and she responded with, I may have shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. What is this two yeah. paths diverged in a yellow road? It's two, two paths diverged in a yellow wood. And I, I took the one less traveled by. It's, um, Robert Frost. So there isn't I really... I am an English nerd. So there isn't really an answer revealed in that at all. Yeah, no. It's just, oh, two paths. Okay. English major like poems. Itty bit, go away! <sighs> do 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 God, this is scary. What's this? Shall we sing a song to pass the time? No. No! No! You're getting close. No, I'm just ignoring you'll this. Know, you'll I'm not even going to listen to him sing. I'm not even going to read it. What song was it? You're getting close. It was that one song that I sang at one time. I know that was so descriptive. <laughs> that could be any number of songs. That one that you were like, oh my god, that's so depressing. Oh no, no, that was that was, that was Captain Jack. Never mind. Oh, it's a song that. called the Fisherman's Song. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. I sing the tune a lot. It's a good song. It's a very good song. And... Oh my god, are we almost done? This is ridiculous. This better be the end. You're almost done with it. Oh thank god. It's a very big maze. The entrance is in the setter strut. Why do you know this? Whatever. Because he care. had been there before once, remember? Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. Dialogue 12? Am I on 12 already? I don't think I'll need this shovel. Mm -hmm. Alright, Aesol's room is just up the stairs behind you, but reaching him won't be just a simple matter of waltzing up there. The entrance is sealed. You'll need to collect three redstone torches from the west, north, and east towers and place them on the gold lapis and emerald box in here to receive... Each torch is located at the top of the tower in which they reside. The trials you have faced have prepared you for those that are to come. Feel free to explore as well. I'm tired of running around that maze. Sit me down here. Thank you. Where are you? Where did you go? Hold still. Are you sitting? Okay. You're sitting. What else can I drop here? Melon, get out. You're useless. What else? I've been trying to hoard all of this. It's ridiculous. Yeast. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This looks terrifying. This better not be a intelligence. 
eyes in the Great Gatsby symbolize God. How the hell would I know that isn't intelligence? That's knowledge. So it was the last trial of intelligence. You didn't complain then. Next floor. <laughs> okay. The T-Rex existed in the Cretaceous period. Fuck if I know. Apparently it's working. What, itty bit? What are you meowing at me for? The eighth number I in the Fibonacci sequence is 15. How well am I supposed to know? Sure, true? OH GOD! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> that was the best reaction. God, you are a sick, twisted <laughs> bastard. I hate you. <laughs> oh my god, what gave you the first idea? Why must you be Romeo? I don't even care. Oh, the phrase wear out. That for what? Wherefore out thou, Romeo? Means why must you be Romeo? Ah, uh, um. Can I step on? This? <laughs> okay. <sighs> God, that was terrifying. I don't want to get a question wrong ever again. <laughs> Slope, <laughs> intercept form is ax plus by equals c. You're the math person. You're the math person. You should know if this is right. Ax plus by. Well, I mean, technically that would work, but the letters are all wrong. So let's try false. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Actually, y wait. equals mx plus b. You remember? Mx plus b. Okay, I remember now. Okay. The function of mitochondria is to generate ATP. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I hate this game. Your reactions are the best. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Come here, you stupid torch. Uh. I hate life. <laughs> what's this say? No, wait, what's that? Line? The way is blocked. You'll have to find another way in. Oh, I see. Okay. Where do these stairs go? Where does all of this go? I don't get it. Where am I? You oh, can explore the other areas around the place. I know I am, but I'm lost. So, there's not much exploring going on. All you have to know is where this. You just have to know where the central tower is. You'll be fine. Oh, okay. Most of these towers can't even be entered from up here. Except for no, this. No, just one. a couple of them. Like the library. Oh, yeah. Of the library. You and your libraries. You're obsessed with libraries. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's true and you know it. Hmm. I am. You have an addiction. Can't deny it. I do. What the fuck is that? What kind of rip What the hell was that? Itty bit you the made a really what? scary noise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Now I'm completely lost. Is that a sheep? Oh, it's a farm. I see. Did I just come from up there? I think so, so I'll go down here. Ow! Oh god, it's so pretty here. Kitchen? Oh! I love the doors here. I don't even want any food. In fact, you guys can take my food. Because I'm, I'm saving it. And you can take, like, the majority of my bones, even. Dining room. Oh. oh, poor Sender. He has. That's that's really sad. He has this huge table and two chairs. Well, he doesn't need. He doesn't need any more than two chairs. <laughs> but it's cute and sad at the same time. Itty bit, you're obnoxious. In the next episode, Itty bit will continue to be obnoxious by.